Do you sometimes find yourself having to seek validation or you over apologize or sometimes you just really get scared of being reprimanded? My name is Crystal Chibu and I'm your hope catalyst and today I'm going to be sharing with you some of the subtle responses to trauma. Before now we've talked about trauma a lot but we're going to delve in to those attitudes or characteristics or things that you sometimes just do not know but they are there and they are easily just eating you away but you know what the reason why you're responding like that is sometimes because you have gone through trauma a lot of people have gone through different traumatic experiences and so because of the way we are wired in africa we miss it and you sometimes don't know that you've gone through trauma and this could be things that have even happened to you while you were a child or while you were working in an office space or while you were you know relating with your family and these things just eat so deep into our lives what i'm going to be sharing today will help you identify those responses and probably know how and what you should be dealing with when the time comes these subtle you know responses sometimes include things like over apologizing before you even do wrong you have started apologizing for it oh i'm sorry i'm sorry to ask but can i and this is just because sometimes you really feel like you're not good enough and what makes people feel like they're not good enough or the guilt of what you don't even remember or the shame of how do I even represent so before the thing happens you see people that really just do over apologize sometimes even when they are doing the right thing they are apologizing for it this is a quick example of knowing that you've gone through traumatic experiences if you see yourself having to over apologize then you probably have gone through trauma before. A second thing that I would want to share is the need for validation, the need for everyone to say, I'm doing well, I'm doing great. And really, why do you want people to let you know that you're doing great? It's just because there's, the confidence is not there. You, you don't know how you're doing yourself. And so, because you're not so sure, because of probably things that have happened to you in the past, you seek the validation of others. You want people to just tell you that you're on the right track. You want people to just tell you that you're doing very well. When you see sometimes these symptoms is, is a response to the fact that some people have gotten or gone through trauma. It doesn't mean though that for everyone that seek validation, it means that you've been traumatized before sometimes in your life. But you know, these are some of the responses that you see in people that need help because they have gone through trauma and sometimes it's a feeling of just feeling like i'm a burden to everybody else and so again it links back to having to apologize because you think that you're just a burden even when people have not said you're disturbing them or you're a burden you just really feel like i don't i don't want to be a burden to you i don't want to be an extra baggage even when they're not thinking of you as a baggage when you begin to observe this kind of things, you might need to step back and ask yourself, how did I get to this place? Why am I having to go through this? These are some of the responses that you know we've seen in, in children and even adults alike because they have gone through some experiences before. Just take for instance, maybe someone that loses someone that is close to them and because they lost someone that is close to them, they probably are going through something that now makes them to have to speak with people and you know make requests. And if you have done this consistently, at some point you probably just tell yourself, maybe I'm a bother self, I don't want to be a bother. And so when you start feeling that you're burdening people, you're a bother, you're an extra baggage or an extra luggage to someone, if there's anything like that, then you should step back and ask yourself, have I been traumatized before? And probably you need to look at uh, some of our assessment forms that helps you to just go through to see how you can deal with it. And still looking at some of the responses that you get, sometimes is the fear of being reprimanded. And so because you're so afraid that someone is superior to you 
or your mom or your dad or your spouse is going to reprimand you you already find yourself being agitated and scared and you don't know how you're going to deal with it and these are just responses they're not things that just you know people come up with it's because they have gone through one trauma or the other and in some cases you might not even be going through some of these responses but you have friends you have family and you see the way they are responding um and you're seeing some of the symptoms you definitely know that they've gone through trauma it helps you to know how to deal with them it helps you to know why you should be kind to the person close to you it helps you to know why you should empathize or even encourage someone to get help should they uh, need help because if you keep over apologizing if you keep needing validation if you keep wanting um, or thinking of the fear of being reprimanded things are pointers to the fact that the person has gone through trauma and should you know anybody please drop a comment in the box below and let them reach out to the whole catalyst and we can see how to make help available for them so that they can recover from the process of the trauma that they have been through thank you